So in today's video, we're going to be cracking, uh, it's supposed to be very easy, it's called Crack Me by Pride. First thing we want to do is we want to know what language it was written in. I'm going to go ahead and use PEID, see if it could uh, give us a little more information. And we can see here that it was um, compiled using dev C++. All right, so let's run the program, see, see what it looks like, its behavior, stuff like that. It's asking us for our name. We're going to go ahead and put Ismael. Uh, serial number, we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. And we got false serial. Press any key to continue. All right, so now we know what it does. It's a command prompt, ask for a name, and then um, we enter a serial. If it's right, if it's wrong, we just get false serial, and then it calls that system function. So that's a good clue. We should uh, look for that. And the way we do that is we right click inside of uh, the window, search for all intermodular calls. We're gonna go ahead and click destination to get everything aligned alphabetically. We'll look for system, click on it. I'm gonna hit enter, perfect. And what do we see? Now make a key gen, pause, scroll up a little bit, write serial, false serial, and we can see a comparison. Well, the comparison is right here and a conditional jump. Let's put a breakpoint here. Hopefully it'll, it'll be triggered. Okay. That's asking me for my name. All this talk of cereal make me think of cocoa puffs. And we hit enter serial numbers and put one, two, three, four, five, six again. And we hit a breakpoint. Perfect. Um, what's it? What's a comparison? What's it comparing? EAX and a value on the stack. All right, so let's look at the value of EAX. We'll just hit modify, and we can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can assume that this is our input. EAX is storing our input. Okay, so. And I mean, it's a pretty safe assumption to say that EBP minus 30 is going to be the correct serial. So <clears throat> I say so a lot. I just noticed EAX is equal to correct serial. And we'll change EAX to be input. Okay, perfect. Let's look up and see if we can see where these values are, I guess, uh, set, where these values are set. EBP minus 30. Nope, 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 nope. We can see it right here. E, and it's oddly enough, EAX is being uh, transferred into EBP minus 30. Okay. So <clears throat> what we want to do is I'm going to hit a, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And then when uh, I'm going to hit a breakpoint on the com or right before the compare, I'm going to modify the value in EAX. We can see EAX being set here. We're going to disregard that. We're going to set it back to the value that it's that it has over here and hopefully that'll be the correct serial so let's run this bad boy name um, we're gonna hit frosted flakes because we're great breakpoint <clears throat> okay so let's modify it We'll, we'll copy it, hit OK. We'll run the program. It's asking us for the serial. We're gonna, so it's 6454192. Hit enter. OK. We're going to hit step over. And it looks like it looks like they're they're the same values. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and hit F9. F9 one more time. Write serial. Now make a key gen. We know how or where this value is set. 
So we know EAX at this point, EAX equals correct serial. Now we want to backtrace. How does EAX get its value? Well, there's a function call here. We can go ahead and step into it, look at all that code, but that seems like a lot of work before we even know if it's useful or not. So let's just set a breakpoint on it. We'll look at the value of EAX afterwards and we'll continue along. Okay, so we're, we, let's go ahead and run the program. Asking us for our name. We're gonna go ahead and put something simple like ass, I guess. So here's that function call. Let's see the value of EAX after. It's three. Okay, so three and our name was three characters long. Let's go ahead and rerun the program. It's asking us for our name again. Let's try something that's four letters long. Since we went with ass last time, let's go with boob this time. We're gonna go ahead and step over four characters long. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that this function returns the length of our name. Get name length. That's what we'll call this function. Now we know we have name length, add hex value CA, and then exclusive or with this value, let's see if there anything else is done to manipulate EAX. It's being stored directly into the correct serial. So we just cracked this. Now we just gotta put it all together. So we'll open up Python. I'm gonna explain it to you guys really quick. So we have a value here, value. It's being set to the input length. Whatever we enter in, in name, the length of that, then the value is being plus equals the hex value CA, and then the value is exclusive board with some other value. It's 0x, 3d, 8d, 40f. And that'll give us the correct serial. Let's test it out. Let's verify our results or our conclusion, our hypothesis, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna make a uh, variable here. We're gonna say x is equal to um, four because that's that's our length of our input. Okay, so x is correctly um, outputting four. We're gonna go x equals x plus x value c a. Okay, now we have 206. We're gonna go x is equal to x exclusive or zero x three d. 8d 40f. I'll put that. Okay. So let's run our program. Let's check if this is correct. 6454188889. Run the program. And if this worked out correct, we should see the good boy message. Now make a key gen. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.